Sell now, purchase later. Hi, I'm Kevin Grolig, a real estate agent with Compass located in Potomac, Maryland. And thank you for checking out my latest video in a series, Real Kevin. So continuing along the topic of my last two videos, if you're a homeowner who's looking to buy a home, no question in today's market, there's many challenges. As we've discussed on my prior two videos, you have two choices. Last week, we talked about buying first and selling second. Today, we're talking the opposite. Sell first, buy second. And if I haven't made it clear in my prior two videos, purchasing a home with a home sale contingency is no bueno. So once again, you're a home seller looking to buy a home. As far as your options, there's really no rights or wrongs. It's just being aware of the different choices you have and what feels best for you. There's no question there's pros and cons to either buying first or selling first. With that being said, let's get into it. Let's discuss some of the pluses to selling your home first. You sell with no pressure because guess what? Nobody's kicking you out and there is no deadline. Second plus is you may wanna be a little bit more aggressive on pricing because you can, you have the time. Once under contract, you know exactly how much you're selling your home for, and more importantly, how much you stand to net from the sale of your home. There is no guessing. Is it X or X minus $50,000? That's a big deal. Lastly, once your home is closed, you have cash in hand, your mortgage paid off, you are now a rock solid buyer. Of course, we can't go over the pros without going over the cons. The biggest con is, where do I go? You know, the adage goes, the bear doesn't want to leave his cave until he knows there's a new cave to move into. Next, you may find that you're pressured to buy something quickly that maybe you don't love. Let me say this, you should never settle on a home because you feel pressure. Let's discuss the various options you have to sell for top dollar, yet feel no pressure in the purchase of a new home. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to engage a good realtor. It's important that you work with an expert when it comes to both buying and selling. If you're staying local, it's best to hire one agent to handle both transactions. If you're moving out of town, obviously that's impossible. Ultimately, if you end up using two agents because you're moving out of town, it's important that those two agents are communicating because in the end, they're going to be your right and left arm. And you wanna make sure that everybody's singing from the same hymn book. Assuming that you're staying local, you wanna have your realtor discuss the things that you need to do to not only prepare your home for sale, but also a strategy that's gonna net you top dollar. You're also gonna want that agent to prepare a search portal for you based on your filters and the search parameters that you're looking for to start getting an idea of the flavor and the type of home that you're looking to buy. The bottom line is you don't wanna sell your home only to find out that what you're looking for really isn't highly realistic. So being knowledgeable about the market you're selling in as well as the market you're buying in is imperative. Your second thing is get your mortgage pre-approved. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get pre-approved for a mortgage in the amount that you're looking to purchase. Surprises in real estate are rarely good. You definitely wanna make sure that you're qualified to purchase in the price range you're looking to buy. Number three, rent back. These days, many people are worried about selling their home too quick. Negotiating a rent back with your purchaser may give you the time you need to sell your home and stay there while you look to purchase the new one. This could ultimately assist you from having to move twice. Next, consider a short-term rental. If you are either unable to negotiate a rent back or you just simply don't like the idea of holding over after closing, you may want to consider finding a short-term rental. While the thought of moving twice doesn't sound highly appealing, this short-term inconvenience could unlock great long-term results. Renting after you sell your home will allow you the opportunity to procure and secure your home's equity in a safe place. All while camping out, lying low, and ready to stalk those new listings when they come to the market. This will also take off some of the edge from feeling the pressure of buying a home, once again, that you don't love. As I mentioned, there's really no rights or wrongs about the sequence. Do I buy first, sell second, or vice versa? What's important is you understand your options and choices and your pros and cons. 
This way, you make the best decision for you. If you would like additional information about home buying and home selling, you can click on the links below to get my home buyer's guide or home seller's guide. Hey, thanks once again for checking out my latest video in a series, Real Kevin. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon to be notified when I post new videos, and oh yeah, share the video. Thanks once again for checking me out. See you next Wednesday.